Hey folks and welcome to Console Crew, your weekly roundup of all of the biggest Xbox, PlayStation and Nintendo news. Now it's already been a huge week for Xbox with the Bethesda acquisition going through, but there are more stories to talk about. So joining me this week, as always, I've got Xbox expert Jordan Romay. Yo. And PlayStation Pro Tomo Hussein. I am still alive, despite 2020 and 2021's efforts. I am still here. You'll never stop me. Still alive, in spite of factors. In spite of factors. <laughs> All right, let's jump in to the news. All right, kicking off this week, we've got Joey Greco, I mean, Tamar Hussein, here to talk about cheaters. Absolutely not. I don't know who Joey Greco is, but I don't like the seen, sound of it. Have you never seen the TV show Cheaters? No. It's so bad, and the host got stabbed on one wow. episode it was oh no i have seen cheaters yeah yes yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so everyone you've heard it you love it you've been asking for it de novo it's on ps5 who tam <laughs> who's been yeah. asking for it <laughs> i have no idea the thing is, is but, like i was reading this in um a, a british reference here but it reminds me of shooting stars the name of these companies like <laughs> de nouveau by a uh, dare to and i was like <laughs> is this a vic reeves joke but that's british you know that's your your one british joke back to town yeah so de novo if you if you've been if, if you've been playing games on a pc for a while you're probably familiar with it and you're paying attention to stuff like drm and that kind of stuff you'll be familiar with de novo it's got a bunch of different arms but the relevant one for us right now is the technology that is yeah lucy's doing the arm thing it's like i don't know it's like uh ashura from ashura's wrath it's got a lot of arms and it's trying to grab many things and punch boulders the boulders being cheaters um so in this situation, what we have is uh, Denova is coming to PlayStation 5. It's going to be available as a middleware program in, in like the tools um, for developers. And it effectively offers developers an anti-cheat um, uh, kind of technology. Um, the actual Denovo has across all platforms, 2 billion game installs which is hella game installs. Um, and effectively what it does is it it kind of allows developers to lock down certain areas of code which um, cheaters would look at and exploit to do their dirty deeds on, on the internet. By that I mean cheating, not okay. cheating in games, not cheating as in the cheaters, cheaters kind of way. You know what I'm saying? The um, cheer girls. Yeah, the cheer girls. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's coming. Um, it's... it's it, it has been effective in previous games that it's been used in um, and they say that it's going to work online and offline um, and apparently it will have no negative impact on in-game performance um, and it won't make devs lives uh, more tricky however i was gonna say they however. would say that wouldn't they <laughs> they would say that but there's, um, there's a little history there though like the, yeah, the so, only time i've ever heard of it has been in you know Headlines for not yeah. great reasons. Yeah, to cover to cover our bases, de novo works in a lot of situations. It has proven to work. A lot of developers use it. Some of them don't say they use it. Um, so we're not doubting the capabilities of de novo or it's anyone's decision to put it into their game. However, they have biffed it in the past a few <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> so it was uh, most notably uh, or recently it was added to um, Doom Eternal and uh, then got removed from Doom Eternal, thus making it so bad it got kicked out of hell um, because it caused performance issues with that game and it reduced like it made the game really unstable. Um, and I think they just updated it uh, or something like that. Um, and in the past they've had uh, uh, Katsuhiro Harada director of Tekken 7 blamed issues with the uh, Tekken 7 on de novo DRM it got dropped out of Resi 3 um got dropped so out of Resi 3 very quietly they just very didn't quietly, announce they were yeah. taking it out it was like a so steam patch note there is a there is a kind of rocky history with de novo and games um, at least on PC for sure on PC yeah so it, initially it comes from it being seen as a form of DRM I think we're past that now but there's very real possibilities that it can destabilize a game experience so that sounds scary but it also is kind of on developers to make sure that if they are implementing that they need to ensure that they are not creating any detrimental effects for the games that they are implementing them in um, and as noted 
by um, Lucy here in the notes. Uh, most of those cases of it being weird have been with anti-tamper stuff that Lenovo, technology that Lenovo has, and anti-cheat is a different kind of tool. So it could be that it circumvents those issues because it's not trying to do anti-tamper stuff. Yeah, I mean, overall, like, reducing the number of cheaters is a good thing, and a big thing that Denovo does is, like, increases the time it takes for people to crack games, and so in the press release they put out, they were like, oh yeah, it means that, like, 70% of a game's revenue comes in its first two weeks, so obviously for devs and publishers, you want the time taken to crack your game to be as long as possible. Um, well, obviously you don't even want your game to be cracked at all. Yeah. I, I really hope it doesn't biff online stuff i'm glad it's in there i just really hope that you know stuff's gonna be fine i can't actually recall an issue where i think i've come across cheaters in any multiplayer games at least with overwatch like the the main thing we can we come against is a people definitely using mouse and keyboard like i watch your kill feeds widow all those games with them at nova they must be doing their job then lucy if you're not coming across any cheaters <laughs> i know um so yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think do you think we're gonna have another biff, or do you think it's because it's on a different platform we're gonna kind of be okay? I mean, nothing's perfect. Yeah. Uh, nothing's perfect. There there could be like something wrong in the future. I think just being like, ah, it'll be fine from here on out. Like, mm -hmm. nothing is going to be just fine from here on out. You can't point to any program anywhere that just works a hundred percent of the time. Put that on a put that on a quote. Nothing will be fine from <laughs> here on out. Jordan <laughs> Remain, 2021. <laughs> the thing is as well, so when I was doing like little bits of research for getting these notes, it's like, it is wild that you can buy third party controllers with like aimbots built in and hacks and stuff, which is, I don't know. Who's no, getting, who's not, having not, fun with that? You're not only cheating the game, but you're cheating don't yourself. Don't say it, don't say oh, it. <laughs> Cheat yourself. Earlier this week, the Xbox and Bethesda deal went through. Uh, we actually aren't going to cover that today because we already did. We did a little bonus episode of Console Crew on Tuesday. Uh, we'll link it somewhere um, so you can go back and watch. We basically analyze Pete Hines and Phil Spencer's statements and try and figure out just which games are going to be Xbox exclusive going forward because they did confirm that some titles will be. However, that's not the big Xbox story this week. Jordan, take us through it. We're getting another Xbox game coming to Steam. This time it's Forza Horizon 4, which is an excellent racing game. And I say that as someone who normally just doesn't enjoy playing racing games. It's a little bit weird because it's a three-year-old game and it's releasing for its full price of $60 on Steam, which maybe it kind of goes back to the episode we just had talking about the Bethesda acquisi acquisition where we're like, you know, if Xbox wants to be a little cheeky, they can be like, you can pay this price here. Or it's free over here. Like they could be like, it's $60 on Steam. Or if you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, it's $15 a month. So you can get Forza Horizon 4 for four months before you pay the $60 and try all these other games. And once you try one of the other games, we're probably going to sink our talents into you and you won't be able to leave which is really what Xbox wants. They just want you to drag you into their ecosystem. Making Big Phil sound real evil here right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, hey, this is like... I, like, it's it's a good plan. Like, I'm I mean, not trying... Also, I'm not you're not wrong. Like, Xbox is like the most evil company ever, but like, they just want people to come into the Game Pass Ultimate ecosystem. And was was Willy Wonka an evil person? I don't yes. think so. He just yeah. wanted... <laughs> Listen, the man had sweets. He, killed, he was, he he was killed evil. Children. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he definitely killed children. He's just sitting in his room being like, we live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, it's it's the phrase ecosystem that keeps getting me. Like it's 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 kind of when brands say part of the family. And there's been a lot of the welcome to the Xbox family chat this week, but it sounds, mm -hmm. you know sounds friendly on the surface, but really it is just business business chat. <laughs> business. business. <laughs> But no, I mean, what do you think about, like, it, Forza Horizon 4 seems like a weird pick because it's 2018. There's also, like, no cross-progression or cross-save either, so... There's a hell of microtransactions in there, though. Yeah. So... But it's doing them really well. Like, it's yeah. number four on Steam yeah, right I mean... now as recording this. It might be at a completely different place by the time this episode airs on Friday. But. Forza Horizon feels like a game that you make available to people there mm -hmm. because it's also a, a kind of 
a kind of platform where people will people will invest in in kind of the long term of playing that game you know it's not a game like gears where i mean gears is kind of similar but it's not a game where you a single player game where you buy it play it and then you're done yeah they can by putting forza horizon on there and making it full price they know that people will pay that price and then they're kind of hooked in for a while because they know the game is good and they'll keep coming back and playing online and buying stuff through the marketplace and dlc etc etc and yeah it, it makes sense that they would put that game on the platform right mm. now yeah. there's probably more 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 uh, recent releases that they could do um but it's you know it's a good and it's a good it's a revenue stream instead of a revenue i don't know just a say, and then they can be like oh and if you like forza horizon 4 this is the developer making the new fable <laughs> and it's like <laughs> so you play an english car that farts <laughs> everywhere <laughs> Voiced by John Cleese. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it does make sense, but it, it does feel... I mean, like, I was looking at the reviews on Steam, and most of them are just, like... It, it's mixed, for a start. And most of it is just people who are being re super sad that all of their progress isn't going to um, isn't gonna carry over. So you've got to wonder if... They must have some form of, like, Xbox Live Gold, maybe? If they wanted to be playing that game online. So it's like, maybe that's just a, a, a marketing issue with xbox that they were like yeah but you could be playing this on your pc if you just if you just changed to yeah. if you had game pass xbox, ultimate game pass it ultimate. would have cross progression i think i think it has cross progression between the console it and should. yeah it should pc do. version yeah. yeah yeah i want my anime car skins i will <laughs> if you see me on track it's going to be with a waifu car this week we had mario day which yeah. is honestly like I love a bit of wordplay, add a bit of numbers in there too. March 10th, Mario Day, I love it. Uh, relatively quiet, um, just some merch on offer. Um, but if you're into that, if you're into Super Mario, I want to celebrate his birthday. It's not his birthday, but you know, his international day of celebration. We've got a compilation of all of the best Super Mario trailers up on the channel right now. If you want to take that little trip down memory lane. We've also got until the end of the month. Uh, There's and then not the much year... room in my life for them. <laughs> and then the end of... The the end of Mario's tyranny year is over and the year of Zelda begins. Um, do you, I mean, I don't really have much else to say about, you know, the year of Mario um, other than it's kind of been nice. Like, I, I always forget that he's, you know, 35 years old and it's also like the 40th, I think, anniversary of Donkey Kong this year. So a lot of anniversaries for Nintendo this year. So just wanted to kind of drop that in there before we move on, because the big release this week on Switch is Apex Legends. Jordan, I'm going to come to you because you are the Apex fan. I, like, we've all played. I haven't personally played on the Switch just yet. Um, how is it? Because I know you usually play on Xbox. You can play it oh, on no. Switch. You can play it on Switch. It's it's one of those things where, uh, who did the port? Was it Panic Button? Yeah, Panic Button. Uh, bless them for somehow, some way, making a game designed for Xbox One and PS4 and actually really only truly working on these next-gen consoles, like porting something like that to Switch. God bless them, but at the same time, this is not probably the way that you want to play Apex. If you don't have an Xbox One, PS4, PC, uh, Series X, S, or PS5, and you only play games on Switch, then sure, yeah play apex on switch it works there's no major bugs that i've noticed so far no major hitching or anything like that it's just like it it's 720p like struggling to give you that 30 <laughs> fps and so it's like oh my god it looks that's the thing i was afraid yeah. of and like so for context, uh, last week I did a video called, um, actually Evan and I did a video together called, um, you know, nine improvements we want to see on a Switch Pro after the Bloomberg report saying that, you know, potentially it'll output in 4K when docked. And like one of the things I was saying is that um, I want to I wanna have like that big power increase because games like Apex and The Witcher and Overwatch, which Tam, you can speak to because you um, played a bunch of Overwatch on Switch, is like, I don't want the Switch to be the the worst place to play games like that because I want it to be a contender and it's and it sucks that every time a third party port of a game like that comes out on Switch, it's like, ah. It's cool that it's there, 
but the thing that I think I would worry about is if I were to play Apex on Switch, and I get, I know it's free, but cross uh, platform, cross play. It's like, did you notice any issues with that at all? Like, were you getting trounced, or do you think the MMR was putting you in with? Um... I would say so far, I, I actually feel kind of bad because I keep being put since it's starting ah. over. I'm being put in like the level one to ten lobbies, and f so far I've only been paired with other Switch players, which I'm like, okay, oh, there are people either getting used to the game or picking up the game for the first time, and they're playing it on Switch, so. Mm. Oh, but wait, I, I don't I'm think decimating do... them so far, but <laughs> I'm I... sure it'll get to higher rankings at some point. It was good because I know in Overwatch, like you can't play comp unless you are at, like level 25, I think. So I wonder if yeah. Apex has a similar thing where like it'll lock you off and just yeah, you have to be level 10 to actually okay. get into ranked mode. So yeah. yeah, but like I jumped into my first match and I won easily like both my teammates dropped at the start so i'm like oh i'm by myself and i still won but i think that's more so just the fact that i have 35 days worth of time and you know why don't you because <laughs> all those switch players aren't shooting people they're trying to jump on each other's heads it's not how you get kills lads that's not how it works also trying to play this game in handheld mode like don't try to have a pro controller have okay. the enhanced uh, third party controller that has like the bumpers on the back have some form of controller trying to play this game in handheld mode is rough I, I would I would just like to clarify for the Nintendo fans that was a joke um, I am a Nintendo fan um, die hard Nintendo fan please do not come for me that was a joke <laughs> please chill do not come for me. <laughs> and one of you relax I was gonna say because I know in Overwatch they put in motion controls, which was a baffling decision because like yeah. who oh, wants it's to an be Apex a 2, Lucy. No! It's an Apex 2. You can move around to like aim your gun in Apex Legends, and I'm like, yeah, we're we're gonna have to just we're definitely this. done. This. Yeah, I mean, playing Breath of the Wild, it's like uh, I had the motion controls switched on for aiming, and I just I've never switched off anything faster. So interesting design choice. I'm bummed that it's not, you know. A better place, a better port for the game, mm -hmm. but it's good this there and it is free. So yeah, if you had to pay for this, I'd be like, no, no, stay away. But it's the also fact twenty five gigs. Play, like, so <laughs> yeah, it's also it's, twenty five gigs. So be careful. It's <laughs> twenty five like gigs. Basically, and, all your internal memory. Yeah, and they say that to like start the download, they advise that you have thirty gigabytes free. So like, I I need a micro yeah uh, SD card just to make room for it on my Switch. So we're trying out a new thing, and at the end of every episode, we're going to be going through the big releases for consoles that week. So this week, like we said, we had Apex Legends on Switch. We've got the Watch Dogs Legion multiplayer mode, which... Finally. So excited. I I think the ship has sailed, personally. I didn't really even enjoy Watch Dogs uh, multiplayer in general, but, you know, set in the UK, feel a bit homesick, so give it a go. More importantly though, you got the Crash Bandicoot uh, next gen upgrade as well as like DLC and stuff. It is the anniversary of Crash this year. So hopefully we'll get to see more Crash this year. And most, most importantly, the next gen uh, Xbox Series X slash S update for Overwatch is out. 120 frames per second, but not on PlayStation 5. So maybe we'll be able to talk about that one next week. <laughs> Time to move over to Xbox. I was going to say, time yeah. to start a Smith Let's account, try. boys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's episode of Console Crew. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Lisa James Games. Tam. I'm at Tamor H. Jordan. I am at JM Ramey. And we'll see you next week. If you're into Super Mario and want to celebrate his birthday, it's not his birthday, but you know, his international day of celebration. We've got a compilation of all of the best Super Mario trailers up on the channel right now. If you want to take that little trip down memory lane. Um, it's also you can also do what I did and celebrate it by eating hella mushrooms. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I am in the sky right now, lads. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, yeah. are, we, are we allowed to do that? <laughs> yeah, okay. I was just about to ask. I'm like, can we leave that in? Or don't do don't take drugs. Don't do drugs. Don't I'm do not drugs. on drugs. That was a joke for uh, banter. <laughs>